praise the Lord, guys, we need to be about building the bride, the church, the ecclesia, the called out ones, the body of Christ. We are preparing the bride for the bridegroom. You know, any true prophetic minister, that's what their ministry should be about. That they're preparing, equipping, 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 and that, man, I'm having a hard time talking today. Jesus, have mercy. Equipping and discipling the church, the body of Christ, to be prepared. You know, guys, I'm a little concerned about people that are very overtly critical of the bride of Christ, the church. Yes, there's faults and failures and sin and weaknesses and propensities. But let me just say this. If you talked about my bride before I got married or even now, I wouldn't take it too lightly. I wouldn't be un I would be unhappy about it. So I think we I think we got to get past the ultra critiquing. Yes, we need to be aligned and be pliable and flexible and come under alignment and correction and even rebuke at times and pruning. But the constant picking and the, the, the backbiting and the division, guys, it's got to go. Anyway, let me read Revelation chapter 21 and verse 2 before I continue. If you need prayer. Please put it in the comment section. Not only do I see the comments, the prayer requests, but other people that subscribe or people that see it are encouraging, exhorting, even praying for your breakthrough. And that's what I love about the Monday night live, 9 p.m. live stream, about an hour and 15 minutes or so, because as people come on the chat and they're reaching out, asking for prayer, there are hundreds of people that are in agreement, like a cyber church, man, all over the world, man, just people all over the world believing for others' breakthrough. That's what the body of Christ should be doing. The body should be feeding and ministering to the body. Every joint supply it, praise the Lord. So I am live Mondays, 9 p.m. Now, Revelations 21, 2. Then I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem. Guys, heaven's going to freak your mind out. It's going to blow your mind. Heaven's going to be a place you thought you'd maybe been to a resort in the world or a beautiful far, you know, something gorgeous, a pond, a lake, the ocean, the beach. When you see heaven... It's going to be incredible. I have no idea what it, what's in store for us. But anyway, and I saw the new heaven and earth for the first heaven and the first earth passed away. And then I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. John saw the bride, the beautiful church, the bride of Christ. Let me just say this about the church and God's people. I've seen God's people go through some stuff, some bad, bad things, suffering, pain, perplexities, trials, tribulation. And when I see those people don't back down but stand for the Christ, that speaks great volumes to me. That's a testimony that I see people that go through pain and hardship and they continue to serve the Lord. They don't waver. And that doesn't happen to all believers, but it happens to many, I see. And I got to say to myself, that's the church, man. That's the body of Christ. That's why the Lord loves us and equips us and called us. But again, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Revelations 22, 17, and the spirit and the bride say, come. The Holy Spirit and the bride say, come, Jesus, come, bridegroom. We're getting ready. We're preparing ourselves. How many know the Bible says the bride of Christ will be without spot and wrinkle? I think some of the persecution and the hardships and trials that's coming on the world are going to really, really make the church chew their teeth into more of the Lord and just get radical and sold out and just get more into prayer 
fasting, taking the horns of the altar. And let him who hears say, come. And let him who thirsts come. Father, we thank you. You're preparing the bride. You're preparing your church. That's what we should be about, preparing the bride for the bridegroom. And the spirit and the bride say, come. Blessings in Jesus' name, guys.